kids, it's Miss Sally and Ricky. And you know what happened this week? I was lifting my weights because I try to stay healthy and Ricky wanted a turn. And I had to help him. It was five pounds and it's heavy for a little raccoon like him. So I was his helper. Your parents maybe have heavy weights too, or, or they go to the gym and they lift really heavy weights. And they often have a spotter and a helper nearby if they're doing really 100 pound weights. It reminds me, thinking of those heavy things, it makes me think of the cross. You see, Jesus was expected to carry that big, heavy cross all by himself up that hill, the hill we call Calvary. He was expected to do that. Only these mean soldiers had beat him. They put a crown of thorns on his head and they didn't just set it there. They squashed it down probably. Maybe he was bleeding. He was hurt. He was weak. It was hard for Jesus to carry that cross by himself. Well, there was a man going by named Simon. And the soldiers grabbed this guy named Simon and said, here, you need to help carry this cross up the hill. And Simon did that. We don't know much about Simon. I suppose he was strong, but we don't even know if he wanted to be Jesus' helper. But he is remembered 2,000 years later as Jesus' helper on that day when he needed help carrying his cross. We're so thankful for helpers, you know. We are can all be helpers, helpers for Jesus. We can be, we don't have to wait till we're strong. We don't have to wait till we're adults. Jesus wants us to be helpers for him now. Whenever you make a card, for someone sick or someone you haven't seen for a long time or help with the dishes, help, help a brother or sister with their spelling words or share your toys. You're being a helper for Jesus because you're sharing God's love with other people. You know, also there are times when we need helpers. Do you ever need a helper to help you study for a test, maybe? Do you need a helper sometimes to reach a high shelf or get on the school bus for the first time? We have teachers like and parents and friends and neighbors and all kinds of relatives who are helpers for us. And we need to remember to say thank you for the helpers that Jesus sends into our lives. Can we pray about that? Let's bow our heads. Father God, you are an awesome God. We thank you for Jesus being there to help us in our hard times. We thank you for the helpers that you send into our lives every day to help us with the hard things. Jesus, help us to know where we can show your love to other people by being a helper and help us to do it. And all God's children said, Amen. Friends, I want to show you my altar space here. So this is normally set up on a windowsill but I wanted you to see it today. Here's my cross and my cup and my plate that represent communion. My Jesus is my rock, so I have my little rock here and my candle because that reminds me of the light that Jesus gives in our lives. And my little Peter rooster because last week we talked about how Peter pretended he didn't know Jesus, but God loved him anyway, and he went on to be one of Jesus' greatest helpers. 
today <laughs> I have added a little tinker toy thing I made to look like a weight. A weight that's easy enough for Ricky to hold too, right? So Ricky can get exercise. Nah, it's not for Ricky. It's to sit in my outer space on my windowsill. And every time I walk by, I think of Jesus. And maybe you have other things there. Do you have your Bible? On the, I, I don't have room on my windowsill for my Bible, but maybe you have a Bible that you can put on your bookshelf or wherever your cross is set up. Maybe you have an ark or some animals that you put on yours. Make it your own and have that little space to remind you to think about Jesus every day and how Jesus is our helper and how we're gonna help others this week and say thank you for the helpers in our lives. You have a great week. Bye.